This is a quick tutorial to show you how to use the EdBlocks app for the Edison robot. And if we take a quick look through the environment here, we can see that along the top here, um, you can see there are some tools. So it looks very similar to Scratch Junior, if you, any of you have used that before. And you've got some very simple, very bold commands along here. These are the uh, drive commands that will um, help you make control the motion of the Edison and then if we look at outputs here this is what it will do so flash the lights and again when you see a drop down box here there are different kinds of things that you can do so it will tell you when you scroll over it turn on both LEDs turn the right one turn the left one on and so on um, and then uh, down here you can see it uh, makes a sound or make a beep and then you can actually get it to play individual notes and the length of the notes and each one of these obviously has a, um, a value if you know anything about music which I don't um, and then whoops right here um, and then you've got uh, these options here now these green blocks are really interesting when you start getting so it's it don't think that um, just because you're using something that looks like scratch junior that you can't actually create something quite complex with ed blocks you can so if we come back to the outputs over here this is uh, a message a broadcast message this is basically it says when I receive a blue message or a pink message or a purple message or a green message or whatever so you can ha you can have it receive um, with, uh, different kinds of messages which are great if you're trying to create something with subroutines going on and so um, what we can do here is wait until so this is wait until I receive these messages here so the ones I said before sorry I got that wrong these are send a message these these green ones here is send a message and then the wait until options here is these ones here is when I receive those six particular types of messages and then obviously this will be wait until a certain time or wait until a clap or wait until I hit something. And then down here we've got the control forever, then the repeat function here. So this block here is would be a forever loop, it just wouldn't stop. Um, and you use that with caution. So you can see how you can drag things down and they um, click together, which is cool. Um, and to get rid of them, if you make a mistake, you just drag it back up to the orange block and it disappears. And we'll get into making code in a moment. So let's come back to control, we looked at that, so repeat, then you've got uh, wait until, and you've got a range, range of tools here. Um, this one here, control again, repeat until, and then finally you can end your whole things, your codes with a stop block. And finally, we've got the start command. So conventionally, you've got the play button, um, and then you've got a whole bunch of other ones through here that you can do, which is Again, these are the those commands. You can actually control it with a remote control as well, which is very simple to do. Um, so start on a black, start on a, on white. When I you know put these buttons pressed, start on a clap, one clap, two claps, etc., or start an obstruction. So that's the overview of the interface. And as I said, you just simply drag these drop step blocks down. But I'll show you how to do that in a moment. This is the space where you can create your code. So oh, looking at these menus here, this this is where you just drag these down. So we're going to make a quick little code here. What we're going to do is we're going to get our Edison to do a command. So I want it to move forward um, and then I want it to turn right. Now when you see numbers down here you can change these. Now this is for this is duration in time. Can you see the icon here says time? So I'm going to let it go forward for um, let me say two seconds and I want it to turn um, and this is where you can get some great estimation going on because you want a 90 degree turn well you've got to work out what that is in terms of time and you can make it more accurate with different tools which we could work out later so let's say I want to make it do 0.25 of a second for a turn now let's say I wanted to repeat that I can drag these blocks out again so like scratch junior and I want to use the control function and I want to use the repeat because actually what I wanted to do is to make it do it four times so I put this inside here and the bracket stretches and again I can click on this and change that to four so now we've got this control here that says let's finally finish this let's come back to here outputs no it's wait until no control this one here and to be absolutely correct we can just put a stop command on the end here so there's the full full um, length of our code so we're going to when we click play we're going to repeat four times go forward for two seconds turn for quarter of a second and when you've done that four times stop and so that's our simple commands the next thing we need to do is actually get that command onto the edison computer 
Once we've made our block of code, we now need to transfer that to the Edison. And Edison transfer their codes to their devices in quite an unusual way. They do it via the audio jack, which basically means this code will be turned into an audio file, which the Edison will read as a, as, as, as a binary series of you know, bits. And, and so transferring that audio file can be a bit problematic. So you just need to make sure you follow some simple procedures here. The first thing you need to make sure is that your audio is set to maximum. So um, down on here, can you see I need to turn my audio up to absolutely maximum. It can't be just a little bit down, it's got to be the whole way up, 100%, otherwise um, the transfer might not be um, correct and then your program won't work. And then you need to click on Program Edison up here in the top corner and this screen pops up and you need to go through the one, two, three here. Make sure that the um, Edison is connected to the headphone jack via the Edcom cable and that's plugged into the underneath side um, so the infrared uh, cable is uh, optical connection is connected underneath. The volume absolutely is at the maximum and you need to look at this, this bit here about sound enhancement so if you've got anything else that uses your sound drive you need to make sure that um, they have been disabled and then finally and the most important thing here is you need to press the record button on the Edison just once and then when you've done that you click on program Edison and if it works you get a confirmation beep sound from the Edison and then you unplug the Edison from the um, audio jack cable and then you press the play button the triangular button on the uh, Edison and your program will execute. It should work, it does work, but you just need to make sure that you followed those procedures to and, and troubleshoot those um, those particular areas if your problem if your program is problematic.